Well, this is a special night because we get to transfer five engines to our cooperators. And these five engines have been on fires with these folks all over the district. And uh, it means something that we're going to be able to keep them around. We're adding to our capability here to fight fires. You know, our cooperators are largely volunteers. They don't have a lot of money, um, but they have a lot of will to help. So we train them, and uh, when we can transfer equipment to them, we do. So they're getting a, a, a basic inventory of equipment along with the engines. So that's going to be a mobile radio in the cab so that they can communicate with, with everyone else on the fire. And uh, what we call a normal unit stocking level, which is uh, uh, just basic inventory of hose and fittings and tools and uh, just simple equipment to, to get them started uh, on a fire suppression. Trucks have been fully inspected. We, we wanted to make sure that anything that we're transferring to our partners is is ready to go and that meant that we went through everything you could possibly go through on a piece of equipment that means um, inspections, uh, mechanical inspections to make sure they're mechanically sound. Uh, a lot of things can happen over the course of a month of these things just sitting and we just didn't want to, to transfer anything that wasn't well equipped. Yeah, it's essential for us to have the relationship we have with the agencies. Um, we are out there on the ground and we know the roads and we know where the water is and we can get everyone out to the fire as fast as possible. With this engine, this will be our uh, sixth engine with our RFPA. So the more equipment, the more we attract members throughout our district. I would, I would like to extend my appreciation and my thank you to the BLM for this program. Uh, when we first heard about it, I thought, oh, I wonder how long this is going to take, you know, and I filled the paperwork out and, and I wanted to put the right words on there, so hoping we could get one of these engines. And I thought, oh, this will probably never happen, or, but yeah, it's happening and we are so very grateful. And I'd just like to extend my thanks to everyone who worked so hard on this program. It's going to be amazing for all of us. All of our rural fire associations and districts, they're force multiplier for us. So it's really important that they're well equipped and they're out there helping us. And so once, uh, once we got the uh, congressional authorization to do this, it's helped us tremendously and I think it'll help them tremendously too in the future. Um, this year, I think we've uh, turned over about 40 different um, items to the rural fire associations and to the districts. This includes, I think, 13 engines, a uh, number of uh, feet of hose, shovels, tools, equipment, I think two, two 1,000 gallon water tenders. It's fantastic. These are all great pieces of equipment that they'll make really good use of. And, um, you know, we get new equipment, so everybody I think is happy. I think it really does help us all in the long run. And certainly we'll be looking forward to doing this again, hopefully very soon. We should be putting out another call for interest, so for those that are going to be interested, go ahead and get that information together and get it to us.